Yo, what up guys, Sammy Lee here, and today, um, of course, you know, we, uh, we did the uh, video on the React cushioning, and uh, of course it's going to be included in two models, the Hyperdunk 2017 React Flyknit, and then the Jordan Superfly 2017. Um, I, I, it wasn't supposed to be the Superfly 7, because last year was Superfly 6, I believe, or 6, I don't remember, but um, I guess they're just uh, calling it the Superfly 2017. I'm not 100% sure, but it's this year's Superfly, um, and you know, that's kind of like Jordan's shoe for Blake Griffin. It's not his shoe, like Blake Griffin's signature shoe, but it's his shoe, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Blake Griffin was talking about it, and Nike did like an interview or whatever with him, and he was talking about it. So, um, <clears throat> we do have leaks, and uh, we do have like what the tech is. Not 100% on like all of the shoe, but we do know um, most of, uh, most of the things about the shoe. So this is uh, kind of like a Superfly 2017 uh, initial thoughts, not first impressions. So uh, let's get start started uh, right from the traction. So the traction pattern does look pretty unique. It looks pretty cool, like just circles and lines or whatever, um, but... Uh, uh, there is a reason for this pattern. The designer said it was a, a pressure map of the foot, the four critical points on your foot uh, where you put the most pressure on your foot. So uh, you, you guys see that if you guys see the dark red uh, marks, that's where I guess the most pressure is put on your foot. So um, they kind of like designed the uh, traction pattern off of that. And um, the traction looks to be pretty good. Uh, it is multi-directional and if uh, I feel like the pattern is pretty good uh, hopefully the rubber compound is also good but the thing is the the lines look pretty thin so it might trap some dust and also it doesn't look very durable because of how thin the lines look so I'm not sure about that but the traction seems to be um, it looks pretty good so I'm not too mad about that and of course the the cushioning system you know Nike uh, just unveiled their new uh, react cushioning and they say it's the most responsive but also mo uh, the most energy returning cushion that they have so uh, I don't know what that means because Phylon is very responsive but then it's supposed to be bouncy you know like energy return means bounce but then response means that it's there's absolutely no bounce but um, I don't know it's really confusing well I'll have to try it out because you know Blake Griffin says it's responsive and then uh, his, his quote it says <clears throat> Whatever move you make it goes with you so that means responsive But then if it's bouncy then that means it's not as responsive. So I don't know uh, Also Draymond Green says it's bouncy. So I don't I don't know exactly how the feeling is um, But uh, I'm pretty excited because it, it uh, They said it's a full-length Nike react uh, core So I believe there's a outsole or there's a midsole carrier and then the uh, the react cushioning is in the middle so um, it's probably gonna give you stability but also a little bit of bounce um, you know for your foot inside you know the core so I feel like the cushion is gonna be pretty good uh, the materials uh, I looked on a lot of sites and it did not specify what materials it was um, but looking at it it does I'm not sure it looks like a neoprene kind of material from some pictures and some really detailed pictures it looks like some kind of suede like a synthetic suede material I'm not sure but um, it does look pretty like thick uh, this is for Blake Griffin he's a bigger dude so uh, I don't I think he needs more support more than anything but um yeah it does look pretty thick and um, I wish it was like a more of like a woven kind of material that would have been dope but um, it doesn't look too bad uh, material choice we'll have to see uh, if, uh, it looks like it'll be soft, but you know a little bit thick. So uh, there's that and another thing is There's like no tongue. It, it looks like a one booty and like the tongue kind of like wraps around the outside of the ankle It looks really weird um, But yeah, it does look to be a one booty upper. Uh, I don't know about that, but Whatever and it has like their flight strap system where it's kind of like fly, a fly wire and then where, where the tongue's supposed to be, there's some mesh. Uh, there's some mesh, so um, uh, that'll help with ventilation just a little bit. And then if you guys can see from this picture, it's really, really hard to see. 
um, but there are Achilles pillows, so that's really cool. I love Achilles pillows. Just on the aesthetics, I think it looks pretty dope. Uh, the colorway, the first colorway that's coming out looks okay. Um, I wish uh, the, the little, uh, the outsole was like white or black instead of red. But um, I like this little off-white tan color. It looks pretty dope. And aesthetically, um, I feel like it looks better than most Superflies have looked for me so far in my opinion. So the Jordan Superfly 2017 debut, or it comes out on August 3rd for 140 bucks. That is a little expensive, but it's kind of like Jordan's Hyperdunk line, kind of. like uh, It's kind of like their signature line. It's supposed to be a really good model, uh, be, uh, aside from like their main Jordan line. But um, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to play in this, especially because of that React cushioning and the traction looks really, really, really good. So uh, tell, us, tell us what you guys think about the Superfly 2017 down in the comment section below. Is it dope? What do you think the React cushioning will feel like and stuff like that? So... Um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.